hello hello it is ashley thank you for stopping by my channel today um today we are doing the april youtube hop for the a cherry on top design team and for this hop it is all about spring so i am using the collection rainbow avenue um i hope i don't mispronounce the name celeste gonzalo um it is so pretty um and i'm using this paper here that is obviously a wreath and my idea was to using my exacto knife cut along the outside edges of the flowers so that is what i did there and then i obviously just taking off the branding strip and then i just grabbed a couple pieces of vellum because it was just nearby and i'm just going to adhere um, that vellum on the back here just so that it, the the background has something to rest on and so that I can use some foam adhesive on the um, on the flowers that are that I cut and I did you could kind of see there I did cut on the right hand corner flat um, bottom of the bottom flowers on the inside and that's where I'll tuck in my photo uh, I'm just adhering down these little pieces. It's not t really necessary, but I just didn't want any of them catching on the part that I um, cut. So I just I did a quick job of adhering those down. Okay, so now, <clears throat> excuse me. So now I am going to use some foam adhesive strips to pop up some of these flowers and leaves and just bring a lot of dimension to this wreath. It is so pretty with all of the colors and I just love wreaths and I feel like as much as I like to make them, I don't always make them, I, this is my opinion, but I feel like I can't make them well balanced, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, one thing that um, I learned, if you're trying to make a wreath, uh, take your paper and rotate it in all directions, so rotate it 45 degrees and check it and see if it looks perfectly circular. So if you, if you keep rotating your paper all the way around, it should look circular. And if it doesn't, if it looks more oblong or um, just not very perfect, which we can't always make it perfect, right? But if it doesn't look perfectly circular, then you should either add more flowers or kind of just change the the way your flowers are on the paper. I hope that makes sense. Anyways, <laughs> so I am just taking the backing off the foam adhesive and now we are ready for the photo. So like I said earlier, the theme is spring and my idea was Obviously, this um, paper is very springy and full of florals, um, but I had this cute picture of my girls from a few years ago, and they are just cleaning, and I was like, hmm, spring cleaning, that's perfect. <laughs> um, but it's just going to be more about home and how we take care of our home, and yeah. So I'm just looking through the pattern papers here, and just finding, um, I think I picked three different papers out that I wanted to, maybe four, um, back this paper, um, this photo. And I'm just going to use this technique. I don't hardly ever do this, but I decided because my photo was a little bit smaller than I wanted, I should have printed it a little bit bigger. Um, but the wreath, it just looked funny within the wreath that it was a little bit smaller. So I wanted the layers behind the photo to be a little bit wider. So that's kind of why I just decided to use this technique to layer my um, the pattern papers behind my photo. And I am going to adhere that down. I think I am going to fix the, yeah, that last photo, um, pattern paper on the back. I just didn't like the way it looked. So I added a different piece. And then I think we're ready to do some embellishing. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in the ephemera pack here from that collection, from the um, Rainbow Avenue collection. 
I am going to bring in that pretty little rainbow and there is I'm searching because I saw on the back of this of the packaging there was this um, phrase that said home is where you are and I just thought that was perfect for the layout so I'm going to add that in there by my photo and I believe I used foam adhesive for my for my yes I did for my title and then after I add that down, I think I, I know I pulled in a little house because that just seems perfect. <laughs> um, yeah, it's coming up here. Um, I was trying to debate if I wanted to use those little um, cups, but I'm going to use cups in a different little place here pretty soon. Some little mugs. So I have that little house on the top of the rainbow. And then, yeah, I want to add a little cluster on the top left-hand corner of this wreath. And so I have a little mug, like it's like, I believe it's the top, like the top view of what the mug would look like. Um, but I'm going to actually pick a different, two different mugs here in a second. So, but I wanted to add these pretty butterflies. And then, um... I think I am searching for something. Yes, I'm going to change out these. Now here's where I change out those mugs. So there are two little mugs with flowers in them. And I just thought those were so pretty. So I'm going to add one with foam adhesive. And this layout came together in about an hour. It did not take me long at all. Um, I didn't hardly have to cut out anything in the video. I did stop the camera when I was um, cutting obviously around the florals on the floral wreath but really I didn't have much to cut out because it didn't take long to put this together so that was kind of fun when it it's fun when it comes together pretty fast um so one of the last things I want to add is some enamel dots so I'm going into my collection and just finding some colors that match the co this collection I should say I was going into my stash to find some that will match this collection and I think they're from Pink Fresh Studio. So I'm just going to create three little clusters of these enamel dots and then at off camera I am going I decided that I wanted another butterfly over by these um, enamel dots on the right the very far right that I'm moving down right now. I'm going to add another butterfly over there. Okay, that concludes this process. I hope that you have enjoyed um, watching me put this together. If you want to continue to hop along, the links to all the videos are in the description. I ask that you do because there's we have so much inspiration. And if you leave a comment on this video and the rest of the videos, you will be entered into a drawing to win a gift card to the A Cherry on Top shop. Thank you again for stopping by.